uh, excited, excited to hear this talk. Uh, my name is Hendrik. I'm the CEO of Lender Market, and with me here today is Raida. Uh, Raida is the CEO of Credary. Hello, Raida. Uh, hello, Hendrik. So uh, it's been over three years now that we are operating Lender Market, and we have reached a significant uh, milestone for our investors. Uh, beginning of May, and besides uh, having financed around uh, 250 million worth of loans and, and having almost 10,000 loyal investors on our platform, we finally became a multi-lender platform, uh, meaning that uh, we are open to loan originators globally at lender market to raise money for their lending operations. And that is why we have RIDA here, because uh, RIDA CEO of Credary is the first loan originator, uh, apart from Credit Star Group, who has joined Lender Market uh, Platform. And in this chat, we will talk with Raida about their business, uh, how to invest into their loans, and uh, why should investors seek exposure to loan originators like Credary. So uh, let's get started, Raida. Uh, maybe you tell us briefly about. Uh, your background and then introduce yourself to, to our investors. Yeah, sure. Um, like mentioned before, uh, my name is Raida, uh, born and raised in Estonia. And my entire uh, professional co career has been in financial sector, uh, more specifically in banking, uh, doing like corporate lending, and also a short period, period of time in fintech, uh, in consumer financing. Uh, working like products like higher purchase and uh, credit account. So uh, I think it's like uh, average like 15 plus years of experience in the financial sector and in lending. Okay, 15 uh, plus years uh, seems a uh, very solid background, Raida. So that seems like a log logical uh, way way to stay stay in this industry. So what's the story with Gregory? How did you how did you get started with that? And, and what what was the push for that? Yeah, actually, you said it quite right. And for for me, it kind of was like a logical step. Uh, uh, considering my previous exp experience uh, to do something or build something new and put this uh, knowledge in uh, good use. And for that, uh, uh, I think it was end of 2020 when uh, Credary was founded. Actually, the first idea of uh, Credary was born in search of an um, investor uh, investment opportunity uh, that is low risk and, and has um, mm, has uh, real estate collateral. Sorry, sound problems? No. Will, you, we we hear you it? fine. We hear you fine, Raido. Perfect. I was some difficulties. So yeah, and. Um, maybe one of the cornerstones uh, or points for credibility was to um, uh, mm, to offer ourselves to find ourselves and offer to investors um, uh, more conservative uh, uh, financial in instrument to add it to their portfolios and that will earn like uh, acceptable acceptable yield and also Will be will not be so volatile on overall uh, business climate, and I was fortunate to meet Doug, uh, who is also the co-founder of Credory, who shared the same views, and the rest is history. And now I've, we have been operating almost for two years. Okay, so do I understand it correctly that uh, you did not find uh, a suitable suitable product that that you you know were were able to allocate your your funds yourself, and that's why you decided to build that. Yeah, that was that was mainly one of the ideas that uh, there were there were not such products that were actually uh, directly linked with real estate, and the investors had like the possibility to invest it uh, with more like uh, specific uh, companies. So. So yeah, the main main idea was to build and uh, some kind of a product. It's, it's very directly linked to real estate. All right. So let's talk about Credary uh, very briefly. So um, you said you've been in operations for almost two years. Um, how is it going? Uh, how big is your portfolio? How how many clients you have? Maybe a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, currently, in the end of uh, May. Uh, we have issued more than uh, uh, 4.5 million of loans 
uh, but we are the portfolio at the moment is standing in 3.5 but uh, we still have some commitments so the outstanding currently is uh, 3.5 so for us the growth has been uh, very 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 fast and very quick so and we and we see that uh, there are more more business to do in Estonia and, and there are application and loans uh, to go over so we constantly we constantly go over uh, applications uh, day by day to find a suitable uh, product to finance so let's make it very clear you are very focused uh, only on real estate loans only businesses and only at, in Estonia yes uh, that's correct that uh, Credory only operates in Estonia and we only give out business loans so we don't uh, finance consumers uh, and private persons so only business loans for companies mainly our uh, clients are SMEs uh, not big corporations so we finance uh, loans up to 500k in some cases we can go higher but this is like our sweet spot not go not go over 500,000 average loans I think are like in 45 to 100k or more and also there are bits more loans Right. And and yes, uh, our uh, collateral structure is we only finance uh, loans with real estate collateral. So this is the, like the main point. Okay. We always have the first rank uh, mortgage. All right, loans. let's let's talk about that in a, in a bit. But uh, being very focused, being in Estonia, what what what's there to come? Like from from this uh, four four million portfolio. What do you see? What will happen? What will happen uh, for Credary in the upcoming 12 to 24 months? Where, where do you want to grow and, and reach? Uh, yeah, our estimates or prognosis, our forecasts uh, uh, is to double our uh, uh, portfolio in this in this period you mentioned. Again, it all depends uh, uh, what's going on in the market because, as you know. In, in last year we have we had COVID. Now we had the war situation, so everything is so uh, changing. But uh, but what we can see from the financing on real estate loans that uh, the demand has not gone anywhere. So it's it's yeah, just, we have to find more products and sorry more clients and more projects to finance and uh, and keep this application flow going. So in this period, let's say in 12 to 24 months, we we are keen to uh, double our portfolio at this time. All right. So doubling your portfolio means that's already a quite quite a solid uh, solid uh, portfolio for such a such a young young company. So how do you how much of this uh, portfolio do you expect to to fund from from lender market platform? Mm -hmm. um, at first, uh, uh, initially, we thought that uh, we can cover like up to uh, two to three million from land market. But uh, again, it, it all depends and on the interest rates and etc. Because uh, uh, because uh, the interest rates in um, real estate loans are not uh, not as high as uh, consumer loans. So at this point, uh, I have to stress that credit is more like low risk. Uh, um, uh, we have more more low low risk loans, but uh, but therefore our interest rates are not so high. But uh, again, we still seek to invest uh, two to three million uh, from lender market, and hopefully uh, those loans, uh, all the investors see those loans as more uh, low risk products as well in their portfolios. Okay, right. Uh, then let's look more into the, the the products of the clients. So, what kind of <laughs> clients and what kind of needs do they have if they come to Credary? Like, are there any like main types of loans? Maybe you want to talk briefly about that. Yeah, from our um, product base, we, we, we operate like three main products. Uh, we have uh, regular business loan, so to say. We have bridge loan and we have loan for real estate developers. Um, with real estate developers, what we what we saw uh, from the market is that actually banks uh, are not very interested to finance like smaller projects, let's say up to two apartments to ten apartments. They're not banks are not interested. So we, we see the opening from there, uh, and also um, I can't say that uh, there's very typical. Uh, we have like a very niche of clients because the needs for businesses are different. 
and uh, real estate collateral gives uh, let's say the company or SMEs the possibility to apply for a working capital so they can do whatever is there is it finance their business plan or or even you know buy some real estate additionally to rent it out or the, the ideas or the plans are always different so so this real estate gives uh, SME the possibility to gain uh, access to the capital so so yeah the reasons are different uh, in that okay. case okay okay but uh, with those different reasons different loans will you be publishing all of those loans to lender market or, or are you choosing particular ones or excluding some 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 uh, mm -hmm. potentially from the platform uh, no i mean in in that case uh, we don't have any restrictions that we don't uh, publish uh, let's say real estate loans or or something else but i think it all depends on the duration of the loan and also from the interest rate so we will hope to find a good combination and uh, that would be also interesting for the lender market investors. Okay, let's uh, talk about that in a, in a bit. Uh, before we, we, we jump into that, I wanted to stop briefly on, 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 on the risk, on the security and, and how uh, Credary handles that. So uh, during 2008 and, and the last big crisis, it, it was initiated uh, from the real estate uh, sector and uh, um, the main problem there was that uh, people were going crazy with lending. Um, uh, the borrowers did not have any equity in, in the projects. Uh, banks and, 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 and funding companies were financing 100% of all the projects. The LTV was close to 100 and 0% and of equity was in that loan and we all know what happened and, and, and some people still keep away from real estate and, and financing real estate. So how how is the situation different with Credary and today and, and how do you get, get, keep this kind of uh, healthy LTVs and healthy uh, equity ratios uh, in, in your loans? Yeah, I think the uh, key point from, from here is what you also said, the LTV levels. So uh, what we tr try to do differently uh, from Credory is that um, we keep relatively um, conservative LTV levels. We, we, we tend to not go, go over 75% of the LTV levels, but I have to stress that 75% uh, is prime real estate. It's, it's apartment house, uh, apartment or house in a bigger city in Estonia. Uh, I, I, I'm saying that Credor will not finance 75% all types of collateral. It, of course, uh, if there's a land plot or apartment in somewhere else, not in a big city or something, then of course the LTV levels are more and more conservative. So yes, 75 is the highest uh, we go uh, on the loans, but again, it's prime real estate. And um, in terms of equity, uh, creditory founders uh, or co-founders co uh, started to invest their own money. So we, we built this uh, first first level of portfolio with our own money. And still, uh, Gregory uh, founders uh, invest uh, money in all the loans. So we have skin in the game all the, in all the loans. So this also helps the investors to uh, keep the LTV levels low. Uh, so yeah, all maybe right. those are the quick coup. Uh, two points that we try to avoid that happened in the years back in 2000. Uh, that that totally makes sense. Uh, maybe maybe one more thing about the LTV. So it's uh, it's a new concept for our okay. our platform as well. Uh, mm -hmm. We we do uh, educate our investors, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, can you explain how lower LTVs or decent LTVs uh, help to protect the investor money in a in a very short way? Yeah. It's very easy. Maybe the easiest simple is that if the, um, let's say the apartment is uh, priced at 2,000, 2,000 euros, 200,000 euros, and Gregor gives out the loan 100,000, then the LTV is 50%. So basically, uh, if something happens with the loan, uh, we know that uh, we are covered with the real estate that is uh, valued at 200,000, and we only have obligation for 100,000. So. The 50 percent shows that it's it's very very low, and uh, investors or lender money is protected with very with very nice buffer. So 
the higher the loan amount goes, uh, the higher the LTV goes. So, so meaning that uh, that if a loan with a fifty percent LTV goes bust, you can you can sell the collateral fifty percent cheaper, cheaper and and exactly. still uh, investors don't most probably lose money. Yeah. It, you can see the logic in the 75% as well that we don't go higher because uh, you can have, you know, changes in the prices in the real estate market. But if the 25% of the price goes, you know, lower in the market, then something something has happened. But it's still, if the prices drop 25%, we'll still cover the real estate value. All right. So, yeah. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks for that um, explanation, Raida. But let's uh, <clears throat> let's maybe then look uh, how your conservative LTV approach uh, is affecting your your portfolio. So, how how is your portfolio doing currently? What's uh, do you, can you reveal like uh, how many percent uh, of loans are late, or or have you lost any capital there, or maybe something about that? Actually, it's quite uh, quite easy to answer because we don't have any default loans, um, or the portfolio is current. Uh, we still have like uh, maybe down to five percent of the portfolio. Some of the loans are in overdue, up to thirty TPD. So, so I mean, thirty days overdue, past due. But uh, but still, uh, most uh, entire most of the portfolio operates in current status, and uh, so we don't have this. Uh, so the, the, maybe the answer is that the portfolio is really healthy at the moment. I, I will um, uh, challenge you um, mm -hmm. with, with, with that here. Um, there are a few um, few services out there where, where you can also invest, invest in uh, real estate uh, loans and real estate products on other platforms. And I see that uh, uh, the platform quality and, and, and default loans and non-performing loans are you know, even even double digit there from the platform. So, wow, how how is that possible? And can we expect? Do we do we need to be afraid that Credor will end up there as well uh, at some point soon, or or how is that different with Credor? I mean, I can't really explain uh, the risk appetite of other companies. Uh, so, what are the LT, LTV levels, or what kind of? Uh, due diligence is, uh, or risk risk assessment has been done for these clients. Uh, so in our in our point in, in Credory, we always uh, try to look uh, cases uh, uh, or, or projects case by case. So so uh, uh, we, we're not all, uh, you know, uh, secured that uh, we will not have those loans that will be in default or they will be in delayed payments. but. Uh, to calm down the investors, that's part of the business. Uh, that's this is the reason that we keep low LTV levels, that the investors will not lose their money. This has been our principle from day one. That uh, we'll in the you know first uh, we we will lose uh, our skin in the game first, and then uh, investors will be covered. So uh, those things happen in this business: defaults and uh, delayed payments, but. Uh, I think it's uh, from the lender. It's important to do this uh, due diligence uh, correctly and keep low levels of LTV, LTVs to cover their uh, cover their investor loans. Okay, so still trying trying to get some some <laughs> promises here. Five percent default rate. Mm -hmm. If that happens uh, for for Credory, then. Are, are you surprised or you, you, you think that then you have done something wrong or the team has done, done something wrong? Uh, What's your target? What's your target? I mean, five, five is like a good industry average and, and currently it, it, be, it, it was good times before the war and, and many companies showed like two to three percent. So, so if you're looking at your risk level, is two to three normal or is five to ten normal for, for you? I think I think the higher it's normal because we're not non-bank lenders, so our our clients are a uh, bit different from the let's say regular bank clients. Okay. So that's that's also the reason that we have uh, LTVs are lower because there might there might happen those things. So, so I would say that this is uh, we try to keep the industry average in our portfolio. All right, good, good. So. Um... 
very very uh, interesting talks, right? I uh, I really enjoy uh, hearing more more about Credar and how how you approach those things. But uh, let's take a few questions from from our investors. So uh, uh, Lucas is asking uh, that uh, currently the highest uh, interest rates offered by Credar is nine percent. Uh, do you expect to offer higher interest rates in the future, uh, given the inflation rate and, and other other scenarios? So, what do you say, Raido? If we talk about the inflation rate, then if we look at Estonia, then it's going crazy here. So I think we're top one in Europe already. But uh, um, I think the answer to Lucas is that um, uh, Credory is a bit different uh, company uh, in lender market uh, portfo for portfolio than uh, Credit Star because. We only finance uh, businesses and with um, uh, real estate collateral. So let's say that uh, in mortgage-backed loans for businesses, the market is uh, mm, from the interest rate quite fixed. Not fixed, but the range is, uh, let's say, 9 to 12% uh, is the main interest rate that uh, lenders can ask. Uh, to borrowers. So basically your borrowers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's quite impossible for me to... Um, uh, ask money in a higher interest rate from the investors than I give out the money uh, uh, myself. So, but uh, I think I have to stress here that um, uh, the product, the credit product, is a bit different. So, it's it's low risk because it's uh, uh, backed with real estate. So, all the lender market investors can be sure that uh, loans that are uploaded by a creditor are. Uh, protected with real estate with the first rank mortgage so the product is a bit different and therefore uh, the interest rates are tend to be lower than in consumer lending where you only have the claim as a collateral so so as it's a low low risk uh, product the interest rates uh, tend to be a bit uh, lower but again if investors want to uh, diversify their portfolios maybe keep some safer lever uh, safe uh, safer lever in their uh, portfolio then I think it's a it's a nice uh, or good way to uh, improve and diversify your investment portfolio okay uh, meaning that from nine up probably there in the interest rates will not be uh, higher than nine so uh, probably can, a bit lower. I, I, I'm not saying that <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying that it can be higher but it depends on the market okay if 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 the interest rates in the market also raise then of course uh, I'm able to uh, uh, to upload loans with higher interest rates but again it all depends on the market what's happening in the lending market so as we see that uh, uh, from coming year or this year, uh, all the banks uh, indicate that every borrower will start to rise again. So we see that uh, central banks uh, uh, come out with a higher interest rate. So it all tends to go this way that uh, the value of money will, will be higher. So again, if the market changes, the interest rates go higher, Credor will be able to offer loans with a higher interest rate than 9%. So I'm not saying it's final. The nine is the ceiling, so to say. Okay. Uh, following up on on the question on Lucas, so apparently Lucas then uh, is is attracted to higher returns. But uh, mm -hmm. think about the investors that that uh, you think you target. So what is the profile of this investor? What is this investor thinking? What do they think about their money, and and how do they want their money to be? um in, invested so so uh, probably it, it's not suitable for everybody on the platform uh but but if you could somehow narrow down and 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 describe the the investor uh you know their age you know uh their portfolio size their approach to money so in a few words uh who, who could be the the perfect uh, perfect investor that that credit loans are perfect for i mean at some point, it's quite hard to uh, give you a an correct answer because uh, all investors are a bit different. So maybe I would just answer it by how I look my investments. So, so I think every every investor will um, uh, not have 100% of his assets in one asset class. You tend to have more risky assets uh, and less less riskier assets. So, I think it's reasonable to. Uh, reasonable to think that uh, 
all investors have some 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 asset or some some money in more uh, safe and uh, lower asset class so in that sense i think that uh, if a lender market investor has uh, has a habit to have 100% in consumer loans and he's let's say custom to 14 or 13 to 15% uh, yield of those loans so considering the volatile time in the business climate so it will be reasonable to give some of the some of those assets some of the money in in in, in a lower uh, lower risk uh, asset class and maybe the yield is not so high but uh, you know that uh, in loss of default you will not lose your initial investment i i guess uh, i guess um, we we can sum it up and say that uh, people who who have earned over their lifetime and have uh, a bunch of savings and have also gone through crisis uh, 2000 2008 and, and 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 have potentially lost their money then then uh, this is more they, they have higher appetite to to lower risk loans like like credary basically i mean like you said that's that's experience you have in the past that uh, if at that one point you had like x zeros and uh, and in the end of the some climate change, business climate change, you had like 30% less than you will, you have felt this uh, pain, sort of, <laughs> the pain and the impact yourself. So, so again, uh, I will stress that, of course, there are like higher uh, risk uh, classes that people have in the portfolio, but it's, it's crypto or whatever. But again, it's, it's reasonable to diversify your portfolio, give some safer, uh, safer products in your in your portfolio that still earns you lower yield, but in case of default, uh, you know that your money is protected with something uh, very 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 clear and strict, like real estate. You you brought up crypto. I, I have a yeah. random question. <laughs> How big is your crypto portfolio in terms <laughs> of percentage? Uh, yeah, I I have something, but uh, I think it's ten percent or okay. a bit low of my. Uh, Are you happy with that ratio? Uh, at the moment, yes. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, moving on to another question, uh, still a few few questions before we wrap it up. So, um, one of our investors asked uh, if Credstar was unable to play uh, repay their loans, would lender market be still able to facilitate repayments of credit loans, or would it be involved uh, in the insolvency uh, proceedings? So. I will I will take this question because this is more related to uh, to the lender market and how the platform operates. So, Credit Star uh, is not connected uh, to to whether lender market can facilitate credit loans or or not. Uh, lender market is an independent company. Uh, we are not part of Credit Star Group. Uh, we are an uh, independent platform helping loan originators to finance their operations. So, if Credit Star hypothetically gets into financial problems and is not able to pay their loans back to investors, then lender market will start to deal with credit start to, to get that money back, but will continue serving uh, all other loans uh, for all other loan originators on the platform. So it is not connected to, to other loan originators. So I hope uh, this um, question, uh, this, this my explanation answers that. Um, maybe f to the end, uh, we have another question about uh, macroeconomics and uh, and the geopolitical uh, issues. So, what do you see? Uh, how is it affecting the real estate lending? And and is real estate still uh, a safe place where to allocate your money during during these times? Um, right? Do you, do you have uh, your opinion about that? Uh, it's kind of a million dollar question. <laughs> So to say that try that, uh, try to answer that million dollar question. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm thinking like uh, 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 what uh, from Gretari's side what we see that uh, that real estate has been uh, one of the key points for the companies to gain access to capital. So it's uh, and from our clients we see as well that uh, tend to people, uh, companies tend to be, uh, be, uh, build uh, more houses, companies uh, buy uh, more real estate. So 
I can't say, but definitely it's it's the safest uh, means of uh, asset class that you must invest. But uh, with all those changes we have at the moment and uh, the business climate changes and the infl inflation, then I, I still in the long run uh, to keep your uh, savings in the real estate, uh, you are, let's say, uh, protected from those uh, short term uh, in short term effects. So yeah, I would, I would still feel and believe that real estate is the, uh, not the safest. I can't say that, but it's the safe way to protect your assets and savings in the long run. Thank you, thank you, Raida. That uh, really, really was a million dollar uh, answer to a million dollar question, and uh, I think it's a good, good, good time to to uh, end this uh, this short session with 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 you right or with with this million dollar answer so thank you very much uh for for uh taking the time to talk with us and talk with our investors i hope uh, this um, will be useful and people who are um, excited to explore credit credit offerings um will will find value from this discussion um so yeah from from lender market side uh, we're very happy uh, that that Credary choose uh, lender market to to uh, uh, increase their their funding sources. So we wish you a lot of uh, success on the platform, and we hope we can be a good partner for you uh, in your growth journey. Uh, bringing bringing this two to three million uh, for for Credary to to grow the portfolio uh, by the end of the year. So thank you, thank you very much, Raida, for that, and uh, all the best with with the Credary for you. Yeah, thank you for having me in this webinar. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.